All right. Here we go. Now, uh, <laughs> this game came. Okay. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the stream. We are going to be playing some freaking Persona 4 today. This freaking finally came out for. Oh, okay. I guess we're going to go to the. Anyway, this finally came out to freaking PC Friday, I think. I never played this one. I've played the other Persona games, except for this one and five, because, you know, they're freaking on a console I don't own. God dang it. Well, I've not actually seen this. I kind of want to see it now. loved all the other Persona games. I played the hell out of Persona 3 when I because uh, I had you know, it's not a PlayStation 2, so I had it. Uh, and I played the hell out of Persona 3. Like, completed it five or six times. So, unfortunately, yeah. I couldn't get this game. <clears throat> and then I can't get five because five is on the other one. Actually, I think. Wait. What console did this come out for? I know they had a Vita version. But I think. Yeah, no, it is a complete anime o uh, opening. They did release an anime series for the game. Uh, I do have it. And I know I watched it. But good lord, I couldn't tell you anything about it anymore. All right. Anyway, this. Hold on. I've got a. Is this thing freaking gonna be a little wonky here, real quick? Hold on. This thing does not like when I click out. But at the same time, I kind of need it to be able to do that here, real quick. Hold on. There we go. All right. <sighs> TV listings. View various TV shows. What? Whatever. Anyway. <clears throat> so. Uh, let's get this started. I want to play this damn thing. Uh, you cannot connect to the internet to access new functions in Persona 4 Golden. What? Oh, okay. The Vox Populi feature allows you to see what decisions other players have made at various points in the game. The rescue request function allows other players to help you when you're in a pinch and you help them and help others in return. These features are not available at the very beginning of the game. They will be unlocked as the story progresses. Okay, oh, that's fine. I thought it was like, you know, not going to be available at all. Anyway. Uh, difficulty does not affect the story, so choose one that will be comfortable with you. We're gonna stick with normal. We're gonna stick with normal. Uh. This is the best difficulty. The best balance of difficulty and enjoyment. I'm clicking on it. You little... Just go. Well, relax and have fun with the game. See, I got this on Friday. Or was it Saturday? I think it might have been Saturday that I picked this up. I wanted to stream it, but at the same time, I was still having some fun. I'm still having fun with freaking um, Terraria, and we are going to get back to Terraria. Uh, I'm going to try to do both. This one and Terraria. But damn it, I want a good... Freaking RPG. <laughs> Damn it. Dude, the animation looks nice. And that guy. I can't. God, what was his name? God dang it, I don't remember his name. I should do him. Did they ever really give him a name? Welcome to the velvet. 
Oh, I'm going to have to turn the, the voices back up. I turned the voices down a couple notches. Ah, it seems we have a guest with an intriguing destiny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, it's so great to see this, <laughs> this weirdo again. Uh, oh, and the music. It's the same fucking music. Uh, okay. My name is Igor. Igor. <gasps> I am delighted to make your acquaintance. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. It is a room that only those who are bound by a contract may enter. It may be that such a fate awaits you in the near future. Now then, why don't you introduce yourself? Oh, please enter your la- oh, hold on. Uh, that kind of makes sense. I hate when keyboards are freaking alphabetized. I can freaking blind type. I can blind type. But freaking keyboards that are set up. Enter first name. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Budget, whatever. Alright. Proceed. Yes. Hmm, I see. Now, let's take a look into your future, shall we? Do you believe in fortune telling? Each reading is done with the same cards, yet the result is always different. <laughs> Life itself follows the same principles, doesn't it? Sure. Ah, uh, the tower. Hmm. The tower in the upright position represents the immediate future. It seems a terrible catastrophe is imminent. The card indicating the future beyond that is... The moon. The moon in the upright position. This card represents hesitation and mystery. Very interesting indeed. Very interesting. It seems you will encounter a misfortune at your destination, and a great mystery will be imposed upon you. In the coming days, you will enter into a contract of some sort, after which, you will return here. The coming year is a turning point in your destiny. If the mystery goes unsolved, your future may be forever lost. My duty is to provide assistance to our guests to ensure that does not happen. Ah, I have neglected to introduce my assistant to you. This is Margaret. She is a resident of this place, like myself. My name is Margaret. I am here to accompany you through your journey. We shall attend to the details another time. Until then, farewell. <laughs> oh, damn it. It's like seeing someone you haven't seen in a long time. Hello, what the hell?
It's a commercial, isn't it? Yeah, it's a commercial. Slim down this summer with the refreshing taste of calorie magic. And we're back. Now on to some juicy news. The Mayumi Yamano scandal. I'm sure everyone is eating. <laughs> first he bags a singer, then he has an affair with a TV announcer on the side. Do chicks really dig politicians? Isn't it just stuff like money and connections? When you get down to it, financial and political clout is what matters. Hey, what is that supposed to mean? Well, what do you think? Their money and their power attracts. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm sure that you all know already, but at the end of this month, he will be transferring to another school. Quiet down, guys. I'm not done yet. Like I said, animation looks good. The scandal involves the Enka star Misuzu Hiragi preparing to tour overseas. Taro Namatame, a council secretary in the Inaba region, whom she married just last year, is now under suspicion of having an affair. What's more, his rumored mistress is the well-known TV oh, announcer. Ms. Should Mayumi we go Yama. soon? Yes, just about. The question on everyone's minds is how this love triangle will affect. Hmm, what? God, the animation looks so good. Well, I mean, okay. Well, that's the freaking. I know that's the, that's the freaking video and whatnot. Here's our in-game footage. Hey, over here. Still doesn't look bad. Well, you're more handsome in person than in your photo. Uh, thank you. Welcome to Inaba. I'm Ryotaro Dojima. I'll be looking after you. Let's see, I'm your mother's younger brother, and that about sums it up. No, oh, it's his uncle. It's our uncle! Nice to meet you. <laughs> if you want to go all complete, uh, freaking protagonist, just be quiet. No. It's been a long time. Nice to meet you. Budget. You probably don't remember, but we've met. I've changed your diapers before, you know? Oh, thanks. Nice. This here's my daughter. Come on, Nanako. Introduce yourself to your cousin. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> what are you so shy for? Ow! Ow! <laughs> <laughs> Smack. Right. <laughs> well then, let's get going. My car's over there. Hey. Unfriendly looking girl. <laughs> you dropped this. No, oh, she, she. I don't see why you would say unfriendly. No, no. I think she looks freaking cute myself, but whatever. Thank you. Whatever. All I did was pick it up. It's the note you made for yourself with Jojima's address. What's wrong? Oh, well, whatever. You got in the car and headed for Dojima's house.
I'm liking it. It, it. You can definitely tell that it is an older game, but it still looks pretty damn good. Inaba, Central Shopping District, gas station. Okay. Hi, welcome to Mall. Can you go to the bathroom by yourself? Uh huh. <clears throat> it's in the back to your left. You know which way's left? The side you don't hold your chopsticks in. I know. Jeez. Are you taking a trip? No, we just went to pick him up. He just moved here from the big city. A city, huh? Fill up my car while you're at it. Regular's fine. Right away, sir. Good time as any for a smoke. Are you in high school? Does it surprise a city boy to see how little there is out here? There's so little to do, I'm sure you'll get bored fast. You'll either be hanging out with your friends or doing part-time jobs. Speaking of which, we're actually looking for part-time help right now. Give it some thought, why don't you? We don't mind if you're a student. Oh, I should get back to work. What? Are you okay? Did you get car sick? You don't look too good. Could it be the exhaustion for the long trip? Now that she mentions it, you do feel a little dizzy. What's wrong? You okay? Just felt lightheaded. Just tired. I'm just tired. That's understandable. It must have been a long trip for you. Why not take a little walk? Get some fresh air. Just let me know when you're ready to go. Oh, wait here. Why don't you take a walk and get some... Well, that's what he just freaking said. The shopping district is near the house, so you should get to know where all the stores are. Oh. Examine the blue butterfly to save your progress. Okay. The running is kind of odd. I don't know. Hmm, have we met before? I met you just now. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Can I? I think I had the back. Yeah, I had the background music freaking to one. It still seems a bit loud. We'll see. We'll see. Hey, Jose. Welcome to the stream. Bookstore. Empty. A uh, fierce looking man in single mindedly pounding on something in the back of the store. You decide not to enter. How are you doing today, Jose? Hmm. You have something to do in the shopping district? It's a bit run down, but we have everything here. It used to be a lot more prosperous back in the day, but we only see regulars nowadays. If only Junes hadn't come into town. It's convenient, but it's a little sad. Tofu shop. An old woman is tending the store. There's a line of old capsule vending machines. I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. I... It was a weird Monday today, but you know, other than that, it was good. But the dials are rusted in place. You cannot turn them. Hmm. 
Hmm, I like this shop. It's very nice. Convenient and convenient at the same time. It's convenient. Oh, it, hold on. It's inconvenient and convenient at the same time. There's a delicate balance. This is what I expect country life to be like. Hey, do you know where my snack went? I had it in the fridge, but it's gone. Oh, I ate it just now. I thought it was leftovers. What? No, it wasn't leftovers. I was making sure to save it for later. Really? Sorry about that. Well, I'm going to work. See ya. What? I was really looking forward to eating it. They seem to be having a, a sibling dispute. You should leave them be. Mailbox. Alright, there doesn't appear to be anything. Oh, hi. How you doing? Damn, that. The next bus isn't going to come for a while. And if you miss one bus, you're pretty screwed. Only I had a motorbike. I could go anywhere I wanted, anytime I wanted. Wonder how much they cost. Maybe I'll be able to buy one myself. Nope, that's it. During events, press backlog button to see the log and skip event button to skip events. You arrived at the Dojima residence. For the next year, this place will be your home. All right, let's have a toast. So, your mom and dad are busy as always. They're working overseas, was it? I know it's only for a year, but getting stuck in a place like this because of your parents? That's rough being a kid. Well, it's just me and Nanako here, so it'll be nice having someone like you around. So long as you're here, you're part of the family, so make yourself at home. Thank you. Thank you for your kindness. Yes, sir! <laughs> Come on. There's no need to be so formal. <laughs> Look, you're making Nanako all tense. Well, anyway, let's eat. I was, wasn't trying to be, like, very formal. I was trying... <laughs> Whatever. I was trying to be, you know, polite. Oh, who's calling at this hour? Dojima speaking. Mm hmm. Yeah, I see. So where is it? Uh huh. All right, I'm on my way. Looks like I made the right choice to skip the booze. Sorry, but I gotta go take care of some business. Go ahead and eat without me. I don't know how late I'll be. Nanako, you help him out, okay? Okay. Nanako, it's raining out. What did you do with the laundry? I already brought it in. All right, well, I'm off. week. Next, let's take a look at the hourly breakdown of tomorrow's weather. That is an old looking TV. <laughs> With storm clouds moving in from the west, expect rain throughout the day tomorrow in most areas. Let's eat. You find yourself alone with Nanako. You might want to strike up a conversation. Stuff. Like crime scenes. 
That's what I figured. My dad's a detective. He kind of looked like it. And now for the local news. City Council Secretary Taro Namatame is under fire for an alleged relationship with a female reporter. His wife, Enka Ballad sensation Misuzu Hiragi, revealed to this station that she will likely pursue damages. In response, iTelevision has decided to cancel all of announcer Mayumi Yamano's televised appearances. Until allegations of an affair with Mr. Namatame are resolved, she'll remain off the air and out of the public eye. This is boring. At Juness, every day is Customer Appreciation Day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Juness. Juness. Okay. I know, I called it Junes. <laughs> Juness. Every day's great at your Juness. Right. Every day's great at your Juness. <laughs> Aren't you going to eat? Haha. Uh -huh. You can save the game by using the calendar in the living room. I don't think there's really anything. I I'll save there. I'll save in the second spot anyway. Just because. Is there anything I can enter? Because it isn't used very often, the kitchen is organized. If there were ingredients in the refrigerator, you might be able to make a lunch. Oh, um... Nanako is at a loss. You should leave her alone. Okay. You're tired from the long trip. You shouldn't be walking around outside. There's nothing else I can really do, so... This is your room. You're borrowing from Dojima. You're tired from your long trip. You should rest. Ah, come on. I wanted to do something in here. Fine. Fine. You'll be living in this town for one year starting today. If, um, you wonder if everything will be all right. School starts tomorrow. You should hurry to bed. Okay. This is... The area is covered in a thick fog. All you can do right now is proceed forward. Aha! I'm going backwards! Nah, nothing there. Oh, that's the freaking static. It's kind of annoying. Do you seek the truth? You heard someone's voice. If it's truth you desire, come and find me. You hear the voice from up ahead. It's a wall! You sent someone ahead. Will you continue? And... Well, I mean, what would if I... Get the feeling nothing would happen. S 
So, you are the one pursuing me. Hmm? Hmm, <laughs> try all you'd like. Okay. Attack! <laughs> hmm. Seems that you can see a little, despite the fog. I see. Indeed, that is a very interesting information. But you will not catch me so easily. If what you seek is truth, then your search will be even harder. The surroundings are covered, and in catch it. Everyone sees what they want, and the fog only deepens. Will we meet again at a place other than here? Hmm, I look forward to it. You are losing consciousness. Okay. You can hear someone's voice. Breakfast ready. It's almost time to get up. You feel like you had a nightmare. Eh, nah, I wouldn't call that a nightmare. That was far from what I would call a nightmare. You're starting school today. You should head to the living room for now. Good morning. That actually looks pretty good. I won't lie. Okay. Some egg, a little bit of toast, and I, I can't tell if those are hot dogs or supposed to be sausages. Whatever. It still looks good. Let's eat. Uh. Do you do the cooking? I can toast bread and cook sunny side up eggs in the morning. Dad can't cook, so I buy dinner. You're starting school today, right? My school's on the way, so let's go together. Oh, yeah, sure somewhat restless you decide to head to school with that ago. i mean why the heck not she's your little cousin i'm gonna just leave her I mean, kind of a kind of rude kind of mean school zone semigawa floodplain i think i said that right i hope i said it right you keep going straight from here Seems like Twitch. Also, it seems like Twitch is being a pain today. Well, I shouldn't say it's Twitch. It's not Twitch's fault. Twitch is actually freaking a lot of companies, by the way, today. We're freaking being uh, DDoS attacked. Twitch being one of them. Twitch, Facebook, T-Mobile, freaking humongous list of a, of companies that are being attacked today. So, Twitch is going to be a little off right now. Uh, it's not doing horribly bad, but, you know, just a heads up for everyone. Uh, we'll see how well it goes. You keep going straight from here. Yeah, that's right. My school's this way. Bye. Wait. Isn't that the way that we already came? <laughs> okay. School zone intersection in front of the school. Okay. <laughs> no. I think I mean okay. It's not it's not gonna help, but I think the main reason is that, you know, um that's one of the main reasons why freaking um twitch was being attacked 
is because of, you know, there's a lot of people on today. But, yeah. The, the event isn't going to help it. But, freaking... There is, there's a big thing on, um... There are several news articles that are that were that got posted today, but it started around twelve. Okay, twelve central, one cent, one twelve to one central standard time, whatever time you know that that would be for y'all. Uh, but no, no, they were being attacked. Freaking Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, all the big tech sites, including freaking AT and T and T Mobile, they were all being attacked today. And as far as I know, it's still going on. Uh, Twitch was working on it and they almost got it fixed uh, Facebook has already fixed it uh, has blocked the attacks so we'll see but no it wasn't just that everything was being affected a lot of things unfortunately I have to keep up with that stuff that's part of my job unfortunately. <laughs> just to see when stuff like that happens uh, but yeah unfortunate I mean, you can't really... Yeah, anyway, we can't really stop it completely, anyway. That looked painful. You should leave him be. Just gonna leave the poor dude. Just gonna leave the poor dude hanging after he... Uh, after he crashed and... Um... <laughs> Whatever. You've arrived at the main gates of... Yasugami High School. What kind of student life awaits you here? Ha 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 You have no idea, poor dude. You have no idea. Hey, it's been a while. So <laughs> morning. Morning. Yeah, it turns I could have studied at my Ah, talk about bad luck. The homeroom teacher here is Moraoka, isn't it? Yeah, it's King Moron, all right. We get to enjoy his long-ass sermons every day for a whole year. Hey, you guys, I heard there's going to be a transfer student from the city in this class. Huh? Really? A guy or a girl? A transfer student from the city? Just like you, huh, Yosuke? Huh? You look dead today. Yeah, um, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> What's with him? We got hit the crotch. Who knows? All right, shut your traps. Wow. Okay, dude. <laughs> what is with that face? Wow. I'm Kinshiro Moraoka, your homeroom teacher from today forward. First things first. Just because it's spring doesn't mean you can swoon over each other like love-struck baboons. Long as I'm around, you students are going to be pure as the driven snow. Sure. Now, I hate wasting my time, but I'd better introduce this transfer student. Oh, he's going to be hes gonna be a fun teacher to have for a full year. This sad sack's been thrown from the big city out to the middle of nowhere like yesterday's garbage. And he's just as much of a loser here as he was there. So you girls better not get any ideas about hitting on him. Okay, dude. Wow. You're a peach. Tell him your name, kid, and make it quick. You call me a loser. <laughs> oh God, I so want to. What's that look you're giving that girl back there by the window? You thought I wouldn't notice? Now listen up. This town is miles away from your big city of perverts and assholes in more ways than one. You'd better not even think of getting involved with the girls here, let alone abusing them. <sighs> but what do I know? It's not like the old days. Even here, kids grow up so damn fast. Every time I turn my back, you're fooling around on those damn phones, checking your life journals and your my places. Okay. Okay. That's dated. Oh. 
<laughs> Jeez, that's wow. That's dating this game. That's dating this game hard. Mr. Morioka goes on and on. Excuse me, is it okay if the transfer student sits here? Huh? Yeah, sure. You hear that? Your seat's over there. So hurry up and sit down already. He's the worst, huh? Rotten luck for you to get stuck in this class. Well, we just have to hang in there for a year. You can hear people around you talking about Sucks you. Sucks to be the transfer student, ending up in King Moron's class on the first morning here. Yeah, he won't think twice about suspending you if you get on his bad side. Then again, we're all in the same boat. Shut your traps! I'm taking roll, and I damn well expect you to respond in an orderly manner. Your life at this new school has begun, and it looks like it's going to be a freaking peach. Will you be able to fit in here? I will admit, though, I've never had a teacher that bad. Never had a teacher that bad. Uh, there's been a couple that have been... Have been a little bit a little bit of a of a jerk but nowhere near like that that's just freaking crazy wow that's all for today normal lectures will start tomorrow Ow. attention all teachers Please report immediately to the faculty office for a brief staff meeting. All students must return to their classrooms and are not to leave the school until further notice. Okay. Ugh. You heard the announcement. Don't go anywhere until you hear otherwise. Okay. He's seriously getting on my nerves. Oh. Oh, damn. Did something happen? Don't those sirens sound really close? Ah, I can't see a damn thing. Freaking fog. Fog in the afternoon? Or oh, actually, it'd be evening almost, wouldn't it? Yeah, like every time it rains lately, it gets all foggy. Hey, did you hear? I hear that paparazzi's looking all over for that announcer. Oh, huh, yeah. You mean Mayumi Yamano, right? I heard some guy spotted her at the shopping district. Actually, I heard that. Are you serious? Uh, hey, hey Yukiko-san. Mind if I ask you something? Is it true that announcer staying at your family's inn? I can't discuss such things. Yeah, I guess not. Oh, sheesh. How much longer is this gonna take? There's no telling. I should have left before the announcement came on. By the way, did you try what I told you the other day? I mean, how could you have left before the announcement? Hey, never mind. You know, that thing about rainy nights? Oh. No, not yet. Sorry. Aw, uh, that's okay. It's just, I heard a guy in the class next door yell something like, My soulmate is Yamino, the announcer. What? Attention, all students. There has been an incident inside the school district. Police officers have been dispatched around the school zone. Please stay calm and contact your parents or guardians as soon as possible and quickly leave the school grounds. Do not disturb the police officers. Head directly home. I repeat. Incident? What, something actually happened? Come on, let's go take a look. Hey, 
Are you going home by yourself? Why don't you come with us? Oh, nearly forgot. I'm Chie Satonaka. You know, I sit next to you, right? Well, nice to meet you. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's kind of obvious. <laughs> this is Yukiko Amagi. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm sorry that this is so sudden. Come on, don't apologize like that. It makes me look like I got no upbringing. I just wanted to ask some stuff, really. That's all. Right. Sure. Okay. If you say so. Uh, um, Miss Satanaka. <laughs> this was really awesome. Like, the way they moved was just amazing to see. Hmm. And I'm really sorry. It was an accident. Please just have mercy until my next paycheck. Right. See ya. Thanks. Stop right there. What did you do to my DVD? Oh, okay. What the? I can't believe this! It's completely cracked! Oh! My trial of the dragon! I think mine's cracked too. Critical hit to the nads. Uh, mm. Are you alright? Oh, Yukiko-san. Are you worried about me? <laughs> He's fine, Yukiko. Let's ditch him and go home. Wow. He looks like he's in a lot of pain. You should leave it be. <laughs> okay. That's twice. That's twice that poor guy's been freaking. You're Yuki, right? Y you want to go hang out somewhere? Dude, he, his eyes, he has no, uh, no pupils. What the heck? What? Who, who are you? What's up with him? What school's he from? Never mind that. He's going for Yukiko-san? Man, you'd think he'd at least wait until she's alone to make his move. I bet you a can of tap he gets knocked out. Tap? Oh, God, I remember that. That was in the first that was in the last game too. No bet. Haven't you heard how difficult the Amagi challenge is? Uh so are, are you coming or not? Uh I, I'm not no. going. Fine. Some well, random dude. What did he want from me? What did he want? Uh obviously he was asking you out on a date. Huh? Really? You really had no clue? Sheesh. But then again, that was way over the top. It was creepy how he called you Yuki all of a sudden. I think it's more creepy that his eyes had no pupil. Yo, Yukiko-san. Turned down another lovelorn fool, huh? Man, you're cruel. You got me the same way last year. I don't recall doing that. Oh, are you serious? So then you want to hang out sometime? I'd rather not. Well, wow. that'll teach me to get my hopes up. Anyways, you two better not pick on the transfer student too much. We're just curious is all. <laughs> um I'm sorry for dragging you into this. Come on, let's go. Everyone's staring. Okay. All right then. <laughs> Excuse me. Pardon me. Oh. So you came here because of your parents' job? <laughs> I thought it was something way more serious. Like what? There really is nothing here, huh? That's what makes it nice. But there is nothing much we can show to people from outside. Though there is something from Mount Yasagami. I think our dyed clothes or pottery or something is kind of famous. Oh, wait! And there's the Amagi Inn! Yukiko's family runs it. It's the pride of Inaba. 
Huh? It's just an old inn. No way! It's been in all sorts of magazines as a hidden treasure! It's a great inn. It's been going for generations, and Yukiko here is gonna take over someday. Hmm. Their inn actually attracts a lot of visitors to Inaba. It pretty much keeps this town going. I mean... I don't know. I guess we'll have to see what's there. I'm assuming that it's just not a regular inn. But... We'll see. I don't think that's entirely true. So, tell me. You think Yukiko's cute, huh? <laughs> uh, I think so, yeah. <laughs> God, just right out. Just right out in front of... <laughs> wow, dude. I think so, yeah. Come on, don't start this again. She's really popular at school, but she's never had a boyfriend. Kinda weird, huh? Come on, stop it. Y you shouldn't believe that, okay? It's not true that I'm popular or that I've never had a boyfriend. Wait, no, no, no. What I meant to say was I, I don't need a boyfriend. Jeez, Chie. <laughs> Sorry, I'm sorry, but this is our chance to talk to someone from the big city, and you barely said a word. Hey, what's that? So that high schooler left school early, and as she came down this street... Wow, who could imagine that hanging from an antenna? What? I wanted to see it too. Oh, you got here too late. The police and fire department took it down just a moment ago. Well, I think it's terrifying. I can't believe a dead body showed up around here. Ah. Uh. Wait, what did she just say? A dead body? Hey. What are you doing here? Just passing by. Huh. I should have figured that had happened. That damn principal. We told him not to let them through here. You know this guy? I'm Detective Dojima, his guardian. Uh, well, how should I say this? I hope you get along with him. <laughs> But you three really ought to stop wandering around and head straight home. Oh, shoot. <coughs> Bleh. <coughs> Bleh. Adachi, how long are you going to act like a rookie? You want to be sent back to the central office? I'm sorry. <clears throat> <sighs> go wash your face. We're going to go around and gather information. Was this what that announcement was about? What do they mean it was hanging from the antenna? Hey, Yukiko. Why don't we go to Juness some other time? Good idea. All right, then. We're taking off. Starting tomorrow, neighbor, let's do our best. You decide to head away from the crime scene. Sure, okay. If you say so. Oh, nice. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, oof. no flip on clue. Does that mean anything? Oh, I have no flipping clue. Alright, well, I don't think we need to go... Hmm.
Well, let's try. Let's see what happens. I have no... I don't know. It's the bus stop. You have no reason to use the bus right now. You should have gotten an order to go home from school today. Go on. Go home. All right. I don't want to go straight home. The fun in that. Bulletin board. Look at the job openings. Look at the poster. Uh, there are no job openings at the moment. shrine. There's a fortune box sitting there, but there's nothing inside. This looks like the shrine's main building. You have no business here. Alright, I'm just looking around. Because it's the shade, the air here is moist. Okay... Check this out. I'm gonna try to check out as many places as I can. You know, I figure they're gonna try to, it's either gonna stop me or uh, gonna find something. Something, it's called the Semagawa and it has a ton of fish. It's a wonderful, beautiful river. I keep seeing police cars zooming by today. Was there some kind of accident? You see the shadow of fish, shadows of fish beneath the water surface. If you had a fishing rod, you may be able to fish here. Oh, hold on. I wanted to do... Last real place to go. I heard something happen, but what? Never seen this town so filled with policemen and unrest. It's starting to scare me a little, so I just called my husband to come pick us up. I'm waiting for my dad. He said he's gonna come get us. Okay. I'm guessing I can't. Do it, and then, yeah. Oh well. All right, fine. I'm gonna do high school because I can. 
Oh, no. Hey, you know there's an order to go home? What if you get caught up in something bad? Go straight home, you hear? Eh, right, fine, whatever. I had to try. <clears throat> See, oh, shoot, I didn't. Uh, in such a dangerous world these days, I can't even relax when I go shopping. And I was going to buy some tiny soul tomatoes for dinner tonight. What now? Oh, that's no problem. Here, you can have some that I harvested from my garden. It's no big thing. Anyone can start a home garden, long as they have some unused land to work with. Hmm, I wonder if that means I can do that. You take... You take that spot next to the Ujima plate. Yep, there it is. That's more than enough land to make a fine garden. Oh my, is that so? If they start a home garden too, does that mean I can look forward to them sharing the vegetables they grow? Ha 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 Can I do something with it? There was an empty patch of dirt in the open space next to the house. Can I do something with it? Probably not yet. No. So, is this it? Hold on. No. There's a scooter parked in front of the house. It will become evening when you return home. Um, I mean, there's nothing else I can do, so let's do it. I wonder if Dad's not coming home again tonight. Our top story this evening concerns a bizarre case in a quiet suburb. Around noon today, a woman was found dead near the Samegawa River in Inaba. The school zone is being shown on TV. Could this be the incident you heard about? The deceased has been identified as Miss Mayumi Yamada. Oh, wow. A 27-year-old announcer at the local television station. The initial results of the Inaba Police Department's investigation have revealed... <laughs> The, the, the Inaba Police Department! That's where Dad works! <sighs> It'll be alright. I know. That's his job, so this stuff happens. The body was found hanging from a large television antenna atop a local resident's roof. Authorities are uncertain as to why the body was in such a state. With the cause of death also uncertain, police continue to investigate whether the death is an accident or a homicide. Uh, the fact that it was found hanging kind of leans more towards homicide, but, you know. A thick fog common to the area has slowed their progress, and plans to fully canvas the area are delayed until tomorrow. It seems that the local TV station's announcer was found dead near the Yas the Yasogami High School campus, the announcer Mayumi Yamano. Her affair with the local councilman's secretary had been on the news just the other day. They found her on the roof? That's scary. <gasps> oh, it's Juness. At Juness, every day is Customer Appreciation Day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Every day's great at your Juness. Every day's great at your Juness. Uh, okay. Nanako is looking at you expectantly. Oh, God. <laughs> You're, <laughs> You're a good singer. <laughs> I'm the best one in my class. I'm not singing. I'm sorry, I'm not. Nanako sings the song to herself over and over again. It seems that she's forgotten all about the scary story. A worried expression. You should leave her alone. Can I look at the TV? A quiz show is on TV. Yeah, I won't tell. 
Alright, we're gonna save. Yeah, let's do it over there. I like to have at least three or four different saves and then go between them. That's how I normally do it. Nothing catches your eye. Is there anything else I can do here? Fine. It's like I can't do anything else, so. Oh, for love of someone. Maybe you should help him. <laughs> you saved me. Thanks. Um. Oh yeah, that's right. You're that transfer student. I'm Yosuke Hanamura. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Is your bike okay? <laughs> uh, is your bike okay? My bike? What about me? <laughs> that seems to be alright. Say, did you hear about the incident from yesterday? They found that announcer lady hanging from an antenna. You think it was some kind of warning? There's no way something that weird could have been an accident. You might be right. Dangling a dead body over a roof like that? That's just messed up. Oh yeah, no. Then again, it's pretty messed up to kill someone in the first place. Very true. Oh crap, we're late. You want a ride? It's a little squeaky, but it should be fine. <laughs> Are we gonna crash? Be quiet, you idiots. You guys are in high school, aren't you? Can't you shut up during class? Don't you have any common sense? First of all, my job is to waste my precious time teaching you assholes philosophy. And since I'm so nice, I'll straighten up your rotten attitudes while I'm at it. Aren't you honored? <clears throat> and I'll be going especially hard on any of you morons that are curious about the murder. Got it? Now get your books out. You listened to the lecture intently. Your knowledge has increased. Okay, so that's still a thing in the game too. Okay. Great. God dang it. I mean, I guess I shouldn't be complaining. It, it wasn't so. Like whole you getting used to this place? Because <clears throat> if I remember correctly, in the previous game, uh, Persona Three, the last one that I played. That was a big part of it, too. Uh, in fact, you had to, if you wanted the best ending, if I remember correctly, you had to get to a certain point with your stats. It's been a while. It's been a long freaking while. God, when, when, dude, that was, that was early 2000s, I think. think that was a while ago that was a long time ago yeah wow that was fast there isn't much to do here compared to the big city but there is that certain something you can't get anywhere else the air is clean the food's great oh you know about the local delicacy it's grilled uh, steak man <laughs> like that's anything special huh eh grilled steak is good i know a place where you can get it cheap want to come you helped me out this morning so it's on me Sure. What about me, huh? No apologies? <laughs> My trial of the dragon? You always come around when I'm talking about food. How about it, Yukiko? Don't you think he should treat us too? I'll pass. I don't want to gain any more weight. I need to help out at the inn today anyway. Wow, Yukiko-san. You started training to take over the business? It's not like that. I'm just helping out when it gets busy. Well, I should be on my way. Oh well, we should get going too. Huh? Do I seriously have to treat two people? Well, I mean, you did kind of break her DVD, dude. 
<laughs> it's kind of uh, the least you could freaking do. Just saying. Juneness Food Court. Is it outside? This is the cheap place you were talking about? Ugh, they don't have grilled steak here. Yeah, well, once you hopped on the freeloader train, I had to change my plans. Still, that's no reason to take us to your place. Dude, this isn't my place or anything. Hmm, what? Oh, right. I haven't told you yet, huh? I moved here from another city about six months back. This location just opened up and my dad was assigned to manage it. So our entire family came out here. Here, this is to welcome you to town. Sadonaka, yours is on me too. Yeah, I know. <laughs> The conversation became animated over small talk. It's only been half a year since this place opened up, but I haven't been to the local shopping district much since. A lot of stores there started closing, and... Ooh, uh... You can't blame it all on Juness, can you? <sighs> Uh-oh, who's this? Hey, it's Saki-senpai. Sorry, be right back. Uh oh. <clears throat> Who's this? That's Saki Kanishi. Her family runs a liquor store in the shopping district. I think she's working here part time, though. Right. Hey, how's it going? You look beat. Hey, I'm finally on break. What's up, Hanachan? Boosting the family business by bringing your friends here? Ugh. Madam, you wound me. Right. Kidding aside, you look down. Did something happen? Oh, it's nothing. I'm just a little tired. Hey, if you need to talk, I'm always willing to listen. I... <laughs> I'm okay. Thanks, though. Ugh. Why did I leave school early yesterday? Oh, so she was the one that saw the dead body. Hey, is he the kid who transferred here? Are you the transfer student? Oh, did you hear about me already? It must be nice to have someone else from the big city to talk to, huh? I don't see Hanachan hanging out with the other guys much. Not necessarily. He doesn't have too many friends, so I hope you two get along good. Hanachan's a good guy, but he can get nosy sometimes. You gotta tell him right to his face when he starts to annoy you. Wow. Yeah, he's annoying. That's not true. Nah, yeah, he's a great guy. <laughs> I know. I'm just kidding. Come on, Senpai. There's no need to worry about something like that. Well, my break's just about over. Back to work I go. Laters. Oh, what, oh. Senpai? <laughs> Saki Senpai says I'm annoying, but she's even nosier than me. She has a younger brother, and she treats me pretty much the same way. Oh, you don't want her treating you like a brother, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I get it. So that's how it is. The daughter of a local family-run liquor store and the scion of the invading chain. Oh, the flame of forbidden love. Right. Dude, it's not like that. Oh, really? Well, I know just the thing to cheer up that lovesick heart. You ever hear of the Midnight Channel? You're supposed to look into a TV that's switched off, alone, exactly at midnight on a rainy night. While you're staring at your own image, another person will appear on the screen. And they say that person's your soulmate. 
What? For a second, I thought you were actually going to say something useful. Wow. How can you get all excited over such a childish urban legend like that? Childish, huh? You don't believe it, do you? Of course I don't. Well, it's raining tonight. Let's all try it out. Then you'll see. Try it out? Wait, you haven't even tried it yourself? Wow. I'm trying to remember the last time I heard something this stupid. <laughs> all that aside, you know that incident yesterday? You guys think it was murder? Ooh, what if the culprit behind it was still lurking around? <laughs> Jeez, you shouldn't joke about stuff like that. Now who's the childish one? All I'm saying is, you guys better try it out tonight. You heard the rumor about the Midnight Channel, where one can see one's soulmate. Where one can see one's soulmate on a rainy night. Maybe you should try it out tonight. Another uh, dinner alone with Manako. No, he always says he will. What a day. I'm back. Did anything happen while I was out? No. You're late again. I'm sorry. I'm busy at work. Can you put the news on for me? Next. More details in the developing story on the incident in Foggy Inaba. Announcer Mayumi Yamano's dead body was found hanging above a house in this isolated rural town. It is confirmed that Miss Yamano had been involved in an affair with Taro Namatame, husband of Enka singer Misuzu Hiragi. It's a follow-up report about the incident yesterday when Mrs. Yamano, the TV announcer, was alive. She was having an affair. Yeah, we just heard that. I mean, what? what? Never mind. The man's wife seems to be Misuzu ha Hiraga ah. Hiragi, an Enka singer. Could the incident be tied to their lover's quarrel? The police plan to investigate this relationship and question any personnel involved with them. In addition, we now bring you an exclusive interview with the local student who found Miss Yamano's body. <sighs> an interview with a kid? <sighs> Where the hell did they find her? What went through your mind when yeah, you saw her? Yeah, I figured Could it was her. Did you tell she was dead? Did you see her face? What the heck? <clears throat> Excuse me. That is just rude. Calm down, dude. It's a, it's a freaking... Never mind. Never mind. The female student's face and voice are indistinct. But you feel like you've seen her before. Somewhere. I wonder Don't where. you think it's scary that someone was killed on a foggy day? What kind of... Mm. Huh? She was killed? Oh, uh... So, did you see anyone suspicious around here? No, not really. We heard that you found it when you left school early. Did you have some personal business to take care of? That's none of your business. Huh? That's... The reporter's enthusiasm seems to be perplexing the girl. Looking closely, she reminds you of Saki Kunishi. God dang it, is that Kunishi Yos Yosuke Senpai? Mizuke? I can't remember how he said it. I want to say Yosuke. A tragedy that occurred near the local shopping district. Many store owners are raising concerns about losing customers as a result. <laughs> if they lose more customers, it'll be because you're making such a stink about it. 
it really is a bizarre case, isn't it? I mean, hanging someone upside down from an antenna. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Obviously. I'd have to say it's a warning or a sign from the culprit. Yes, but so far, no one has come forward to take credit for the crime. <sighs> Loads of prank calls, though. So the cause of death is still unknown, and they don't have a single suspect yet? Taxpayers' funds are going to a police force who can't even figure out if this is an accident or a homicide? Well... Did he pass out, or is he just kind of annoyed? He looks like he's passed out. We'll be right back after these messages. At Juness, every day is Customer Appreciation Day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Every day's great at your Juness. Every day's great at your Juness. We're going to be hearing that a lot, aren't we? Hey, Dad, can we go to Juness together sometime? He is out. <clears throat> yep. No? <clears throat> He's out cold. Jeez. When I go to bed, I'll wake Dad up and tell him to go to his own room. Quiz show. You should leave him alone. Yeah, well, I, I wasn't going to want... Will, uh, I wasn't going to wake him up. I just wanted to check. That's all. Uh, nothing catches your eye. Fine, I will save. All right. You reminded that you made a promise to test out the rumors of this midnight channel. You should check it out in your room. Watch TV in your room. <clears throat> You can hear it raining outside. It's almost midnight. Your soulmate appears if you look into the TV on a rainy night. Could Chie's story be true? Cutscene. Okay, then. I remember that line from the previous game. Actually, I think that line's in all of them so far. Actually, yeah, I think it is. We are being, um, oh, oh God, I've had, are I've had okay? that. Okay, <sighs> kind of. Okay. Well, good night. Nanako seems to have returned to her room. 
What just happened? You decide to talk about it with the others tomorrow. <clears throat> I gotta pause. I wanna see... Oh God. I'm losing frames like crazy right now. Sorry. Perfect timing. Sorry, move over. Chie forced herself under your umbrella. Okay. <laughs> Oh, so not everything is freaking voiced. Oh, well. I did have my own, but I saw this kung fu movie where they used an umbrella to pull off some sweet moves. And I'd accidentally broke mine trying to mimic the movie. Okay. <laughs> okay. By the way, did you see it? I did. Ah, do tell. But the person it showed... Never mind. I'll save it for when the others are around. We're going to be late for school. <clears throat> I want to see about... i got to get to a point where I can pause. Uh, um... Oh, uh... It's kind of awkward to only bring this up now, but we're pretty close here. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and run the rest of the way. Okay. You'll catch a cold. Don't worry about it. Then let's race. <laughs> we'll catch a cold. Oh, right. Good point. If I catch a cold, it could spread and the other and that'd suck for everyone. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll keep going with you. Come on. <clears throat> Who the what the <laughs> Okay, Miss Sofu. Hello everyone, my name is Kimiko Sofu, and I don't know how much you know about world history, but I am an expert. First, a little about me. I love to use my dowser to look for lost items, and there's nothing quite like a romance. In fact, world history is a magnificent romance. History is like a river. It was born in the past and flows ever forward. I hope we can all enjoy the profound, the profundity of history together. Oh, 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 oh. And since this is my first lecture, I'll start with an easy question. Our transferee, please stand up. Oh God, no, I was hoping I didn't have to do this. God damn it. The Western calendar is based on Anno Domini, the tradition believed year, the traditional believed year of Jesus Christ's birth. What is the year before 1 AD called? I mean, 1 BC? Oh, crud. I want to say that's right. You gave the answer you think is correct. Ah, you seem to understand this well. If you think that history is like math, 0 AD would be the natural assumption. But world history is much more complicated. The Gregorian calendar we use today is based on the Julian calendar, which was made while there was no concept of the 0 as a number. That's why when counting backwards, we go from 1 AD straight to 1 BC. Hopefully that was a nice introduction to the world history. Hey, I got it right. I was hoping they didn't have that in this game. <laughs> and we're going to be looking up stuff. Oh, we're going to be looking up stuff, all right. What's up with the body being hung upside down? Damn it, I just want to so be able to freaky. pause. I'm losing frames like crazy right now. I'm trying to... Yep, there it went again. We may be cutting the stream short today. Maybe. Hold on. I should be able to do this right now. Hold on. Let me see here.
Yeah, there's nothing, there hasn't been any major drops. We did do it once, but dude, we've been going all over the place. And that's annoying as all hell. I mean, I have no control over it, but... Is it supposed to be like mimicking an execution? It's messed up. My senpai told me it was a third year named Saki who found the body. Y Yo. Um. What? What's up, dude? It's, uh, it's not really that important, but... Well, yesterday on TV, I, uh... Oh, uh, you never mind. Look, I'll tell you later. <laughs> <laughs> Yosuke, did you hear the rumor? Saki Senpai supposedly the one who discovered that body. I wonder if that's why she looked so down. She doesn't seem to be at school today either. Huh? Hey, Yukiko, are you helping out at the inn today too? Things are really out of hand right now. I'm sorry. Oh, that's right. That reporter was supposedly staying at her inn. Ooh. Okay. Is it just me, or does Yukiko-san seem way stressed out today? I guess they're running her ragged. By the way, did you see it last night? Huh? Hmm? Uh, well, what Hello. about you? Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> I did. I seriously saw a girl. But my soulmate's a girl? What's that supposed to mean? I couldn't quite tell who it was, but it was a girl for sure. Her hair was brown, about shoulder length. She was wearing our school uniform, and... Hey, I think that's the same person I saw. I couldn't make out that much detail, though. The image I saw was much blurrier. Wait, so you saw it too? And we saw the same girl? D does that mean we have the same soulmate? How should I know? How about you? Did you see it? You told them about what happened last night. It sounds like we all saw the same person. But weird voices aside... What was that about getting sucked into your TV? Were you that tired last night? You must have just fallen asleep in front of your TV. That'd be one interesting dream, though. I like the part where you got stuck because your TV was too small. <laughs> That's pretty realistic. <laughs> if it had been bigger... Oh, that reminds me. Our family's been talking about buying a bigger TV. Oh, yeah? Well, flat screen TVs are definitely in these days. Once again, he's definitely dating this game. Want to go check him out on the way back? We're beefing up our electronics department this month. Oh, definitely. My parents don't know anything about electronics, and I've just got to see my kung fu movies on the big screen. Oh, God. We've got some pretty big ones in stock. I bet they'd be big enough for you to fit into. <laughs> they don't believe you at all. You decide to go to Junis with the others. We haven't even gotten the mascot yet. Wow! This is huge! And holy crap, it's expensive. Who buys something like this? That's um, uh, pretty good size. It's, it's a decent size. Decent size. I don't know how much it is because I can't see a price, but let's see. I don't know, rich folks. Honestly, not many people shop for TVs here. That's why we don't have clerks around. Look. Well, okay. See, there's a. Huh. Not worth trying then, I guess. Well, at least looking's free. I'm just looking at the price of that TV next to it. Uh, I'd say, oh god, would that be like fifty? 
fifteen hundred dollars. Yeah, about fifteen hundred dollars. The one next to that one would be close. Would be about two grand. <laughs> so not cheap TVs, man. Nope, it's just a TV. Nope, can't get in. Figures. Well, it's not midnight. <laughs> this proves it. It was all just a dream. Besides, these flat screen TVs are so thin, you just end up on the other side. Ah, what am I saying? So, Chia, what kind of TV are you guys in the market for? They said they wanted one that's cheap. You got any suggestions? Oh, damn, there's another one. That one that's next yes, to it. Even might more. I suggest this one over here? It's the newest model just released this spring. What? That's not cheap at all. There's way too many zeros. Uh, there's only two. I should have asked what you meant by cheap right off the bat. You got connections, right? Come on, hook me up. You know I can't do that. Hey, how about this one over here? It's a display unit. It's a little old, but... With a TV this big, you really might be able to go inside. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. What kind of TV do you... <laughs> huh? Something wrong, Yosuke? Is his arm in the TV? Yep. Whoa. Uh, is that some kind of new model? L like with a, a new function? Hell no. You gotta be kidding me. Did you really stick your hand through the screen? Oh man, this is for real. That's some magic trick, man. So how's it work, huh? What's the magician's secret? Both of them are staring at you, astonished. You might be able to put in more... Uh, you might be able to put in more than just your arm. Hey, don't do that! What are you doing? <laughs> There's empty space inside. You tell them that. What do you mean, inside? Wh what do you mean, empty space? It seems very spacious in here. Wh what do you mean, spacious? I mean, what's going on? Holy crap. I think this is all too much for my bladder. Really? What the? Are you going to pee your pants? I've been holding it in all day. I haven't had a chance to go. I can't hold it anymore. Shit, customers, they're coming. What? But we've got a guy half stuck in the TV here. I mean... Oh, that sounded like that hurt. Ow. I landed right on my wallet. Man, where the heck are we? What is this place? Some place inside Juness? Hell no, it isn't. I mean, we fell through a TV. Actually, uh, what is going on here? So, uh, we're still alive, right? Are you guys okay? Your understanding has increased. Oh, 
Okay. I think my butt's cracked now. Uh, of course it is. <laughs> yeah. Got one big crack going down the middle. Whoa. What now? Did you wet your pants? No, stupid. Look around. It's a stage. Well, at least it looks like a stage. Is this a studio? All this fog. Or is it smoke? There's no place like this in Inaba, is there? Hell no. But man, this place is huge. What are we gonna do? Let's look around. Huh? But, but look, we need to get home and Huh? Wait a minute. Wait, which way did we come in from? Uh, I don't see a way in or out. What? That can't be right. How could that be? I don't know. Don't ask me. I can't take this anymore. I want to go home. Okay, so how? Let's calm down. Let's calm down. Let's look for a way out. We're doomed. Doomed. No. Let's look for a way out. Yeah, an exit. We need to find one. Let's... Calm down and think about this. All right, so we need to find a way out. Is there really a way out of here? We got in, so we must be able to get out somehow. That's true, but... If there's no exit, we're trapped, so let's cross our fingers and look around. All right. Trippy. What is this place? It feels different from where we were before. It looks like we're in some kind of building, but... Damn, this fog's so thick I can hardly see. Are you sure we're not wandering farther away? I can't be positive, but we gotta trust our instinct a little. I know, but... It seems that there's no choice for now but to continue onward. Hey, is it me or is the fog lighter here? No service. What a surprise. Can you guys slow down a little? It's hard enough to see where you're going. Uh, there's posters of huh? that woman what on the, the wall. Oh, there's a lot of posters it's of that woman on the wall. End. Um, yeah, there is. It's right there. There's a door. It keeps getting creepier and creepier the further we go. Is no one going to mention the blood on the wall with the posters of the slashed faces and whatnot? Uh, I can't hold it any longer. <laughs> My bladder's going to explode. Not right Lucy, there. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, come on, man. I don't know. I gotta let it out before I piss my pants. Oh, it's getting creepy, all right. No, I mean, yes, it does look like the, your uh, your typical JRPG. Uh, but at the same time... It is getting creepy. <laughs> but also, I freaking love the Persona games. So, I'm happy I'm finally getting able to at least play 4. I want to play 5, but Lord knows when that's going to come out to freaking PC. Oh, and I just noticed there's a noose hanging from the ceiling. 
<laughs> okay. There's a. Let's see, can I break my. Yeah, right there. <laughs> Freaking right there. You're going here? Oh, you have got to be kidding. Turn around. I can't go if everyone's watching. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. It's all your fault if my bladder bursts. Like I care. Anyways, what's with this room? Check out these posters. Their faces are all cut out. Cut out, scratched out, slashed out freaking blood thrown on the walls and on them. Someone must really hate this person. Dude, this chair and rope, that kind of arrangement is never good. It's tied in a noose. Is this a scarf? Let's go back to where we came from and look somewhere else for an exit. Hey, I think I've seen that poster before. Yeah. Who cares? Let's go! I'm sick of this place. And I'm not feeling so good. Now that you mention it, me too. Your body does feel heavy. Could it be due to this place's oppressive atmosphere? All right, let's go back. I'm seriously starting to feel sick. Phew, we finally made it back here. Wait, what's that? There's something over there. Oh. What is this thing? A monkey? A bear? What in the world? That's what I want to know. Who are you guys? <gasps> it talked! W what are you? You want to fight? Don't yell at me like that. The bear is cowering in fear. Is it really a bear? I don't remember. I think it is. Maybe it would be better to ask him nicely. What are you? I'm a bear. Can't you tell? I live here by myself. I've always lived here. It doesn't have a name. You live here? If I was you guys, I'd hurry back to the other side. Someone's been throwing people in here. It's a big headache. Huh? Throwing people in? What are you talking about? I don't know who's doing it. I just want them to think before they go doing things like that. Hey, what's your problem? What gives you the right to yell at us like that? What are you? Where are we? What the heck is going on here? <laughs> gonna hide behind I me. I already told you. Anyways, you should hurry back. What it comes down to is, you want us to get out of here, right? Well, so do we. We just don't know how, damn it. Yeah. Uh, that's why I'm saying I'll let you out. Oh. Like I keep saying, we don't know where the frickin' exit... Wait. What? What the hell? Where did those TVs come from? Okay, now go, go. Get out of here. I'm a busy bear. 
What's going on now? Whoa! Hey! What are you doing? S stop pushing! Hmm. Well, I guess we're free. Did we make it back? Attention shoppers! Our daily limited time sale will now begin at the side dish area on the first floor. Why not try the delicious fresh produce Juness picked for you this morning as your side dish for dinner tonight? All ages are invited to take advantage of this incredible bargain. Crap, it's already that late? Looks like we were in there for quite a while. That's right. Now I remember where I saw that poster before. Look over there. What's up now? Hey, you're right. They're the same. I couldn't tell before without the face, but it was Misuzu Hiragi. She's been all over the news lately. Something about her husband having an affair with that announcer lady who died the other day. Hey, so does that mean that weird room we saw? Could it be related to that Yamano lady's death? Now that I think about it, there was that creepy noose hanging from the ceiling. Yeah. Yeah, stop. No more. We gotta stop talking about this. I'm gonna wipe what happened today from my brain. I don't think my poor heart can take anymore. I'm feeling a chill, too. Let's go home. I want to lie down and rest. All right, then. Hey, welcome home. You still feel sluggish. Um, well, I doubt you'd know. But have you heard anything about a student named Saki Konishi? <clears throat> uh, she wasn't at school today. Oh, I see. Well, to be honest, we got a call from her family. She's disappeared. We've got people looking for her, but she hasn't been found yet. Oh, work just keeps piling up. And now, more on the case still casting a shadow over the foggy town of Inaba. Not long ago, television announcer Mayumi Yamano was found dead in the small town. Yep. Up until now, her whereabouts prior to her death had been unknown. But the police investigation has found that she had been staying in the region's famous Amagi Inn. The Amagi Inn. It's the inn that Yugo's family runs. Yes, we, we, we figured that out already. She had apparently been staying there alone. Perhaps she was taking a vacation to recover from her ordeal? No, it was more like she was in hiding, you moron. Oh, yes, the Amagi Inn. Their hot springs are first rate. The manager's teenage daughter also works there, and it's rumored that she'll take over the inn this spring. Okay, that's kind of an odd thing to say, but okay. If that happens, she'll be one of the youngest managers on record. I should book another trip there. Uh, I see. Moving along, it's time for the weather report. The rain has begun to subside. From now until morning, heavy fog warnings will be in effect in the Inaba region. Visibility will be severely reduced, so please be careful if you plan on driving in the area. The news continues. Just before the announcer was found dead, she was apparently staying at... Yes, yes. Uh, and it seems that the whereabouts of Saki Konishi, who discovered the body, are unknown. Is the ramen ready now? Give it some more time. Uh-oh. You feel a slight chill. Are you sick? You're probably still adjusting to the new environment. Nanako. Could you get him some cold medicine?
You should get to bed after you take it. Sounds good. Sure. <sighs> People who are sick should stay in bed. There's fog today, so you should go to sleep early. Or you'll catch a cold. You should go straight to bed tonight. A spring cold can be tough. I have to check. I have to. Alright. You should rest early today. <clears throat> oh, okay. So just completely... Wow, I've already gone through a freaking week. Oh. Oh, damn. Oh. Okay, then. Oh, don't tell me that was her. Oh, you're up. Well, I'm off. Dojima left the house. Uh, Dad has to go do something. He got a call, so he left. Nanako looks worried. Was that the freaking was that the freaking student? You can hear girls gossiping. When I looked, I saw three police cars zooming by. You live by the police station, don't you? Did you hear anything? I heard some yelling, but nothing more. A total disappointment. Jeez, you need to pay more attention to stuff like that. How else are we supposed to get the juicy stories? You hear sirens nearby. Uh, I can hear it. Yes, I can hear it. Uh, okay. You decide to head to school. Hey, did you see it yesterday? Of course not. What is that rumor for real? I don't know, but it seems like a lot of people have seen it. You overhear people gossiping about something. Yukiko said she'd be here after lunch. I wonder why they're holding a school assembly all of a sudden. <sighs> hey, what's wrong, Yosuke? Hmm? Oh, it's nothing. Everyone, please settle down. The school assembly is about to begin. First, the principal has something to say. Is that freaking Darwin? <laughs> is that Charles Darwin? <laughs> Looks like freaking Charles Darwin. I regret to say that I have a terrible announcement for all of you. One of our third year students, Ms. Saki Kunishi of Class 3, has passed away. Yeah, that's all, that's what, yeah. Passed away? <sighs> Ms. Kunishi was found deceased early this morning. The reasons behind her passing are currently under investigation by the police. If they ask you for your cooperation, I urge you as students of this school to provide only the facts. Only the facts. Just the facts. All right, please quiet down. I have been assured by the faculty that there's been no evidence that bullying was involved in the incident. So mind what you say, not only to the police, but to anyone who asks. Found dead? How could this happen? <sighs> the principal's address continues. She died the same way as that announcer, right? It's so creepy. Well, last time it was from an antenna, but this time she was hanging from a telephone pole. It's gotta be a serial murder case. Someone said the cause of death was some unknown poison. Unknown? Come on, this isn't some sci-fi drama. 
Oh, by the way, did you hear? Someone saw a girl that looked like Saki on that Midnight Channel thingy. They said she totally looked like she was in pain. Isn't that scary? <laughs> Sounds like someone had a nightmare. The media's been broadcasting their interviews with her nonstop. So maybe they just had Saki on the brain. Sheesh. It's easy to toss around theories if you're not personally involved. Hey, did you guys check out the TV last night? Yosuke, not you too. Just listen for a sec. Something kept bothering me, so I watched it again, and I think the girl on the screen was Saki-senpai. There's no mistaking it. Senpai looked like she was writhing in pain. And then she disappeared from the screen. What? You heard Senpai's body was found in a similar situation as that announcer's, right? Well, remember that guy you told us about? How he was all excited that his soulmate was the announcer? Maybe, just maybe, but Ms. Yamano might have been on that midnight channel before she died too. Oh, I get it. Okay, okay. So that's why, because they saw. Okay, they're gonna. They're seeing who's getting. Who's gonna get murdered? Okay. What's that supposed to mean? It's not your soulmate. It's who's going to get murdered. Hold on. Are you saying people who appear on that TV die? can't say for sure, but something tells me I just can't dismiss it as coincidence. <gasps> Plus, remember what that bear thing said? How that place was dangerous and we should leave before the fog clears? It also said that someone's been throwing people in there. And that room with the posters on the wall, it has to have something to do with the announcer's death. I mean, don't you think there's some kind of connection there? Couldn't that world in the TV have something to do with Senpai and the announcer's death? Well, what do you think? You might be right. So it's not just me, huh? If there is a connection, then it's a good bet that the two of them went inside that world. That would explain the posters in that room. Which means, if we look around, we might find a place that has something to do with Senpai, too. Yosuke, don't tell me. Yeah, I'm thinking about going in again. I want to find out for myself. D don't do this. You should just let the police handle this and... You think we can rely on the police? They haven't made any progress on the announcer's case. Besides, even if we told them about the world inside the TV, there's no way they're going to believe us. If I'm completely off base with this, that's fine. It's just, I need to know why Senpai had to die like this. Yeah, he had a crush Yosuke. on her. He liked her, man. He liked her. Cool. After what I've seen and what I've put together, there's no way I can ignore it now. Sorry, but you're the only person who can help me. I'm gonna go get ready. I'll be waiting for you at Juness. Yosuke has asked you to take him into the TV world again. I can kinda understand how he feels. But we can't be sure we'll be able to get out safely again. What should we do? <clears throat> we go with him. You serious? Anyways, let's go to Juness. We can't leave Yosuke alone. Would you like to save your progress thus far? Sure, why not? What the? You guys came. We came to stop you, idiot! 
come on. You really shouldn't do this. It's too dangerous. I know, but we were able to come back once, right? If we go in from the same location, maybe we'll meet that bear again. Maybe isn't good enough. Look, I can't just act like everyone else and pretend this has nothing to do with me. That's true, but... What about you? Could you just walk away? I'm worried about Chie. Why? Why are you? Wait. Why is he worried about? What? What? Why is that an option? I mean, this sounds more like the what I would respond, but why? It's so odd. I'm not gonna do that middle one. Hell no. Uh, so. I can't leave it alone. Yeah, I thought not. I'm glad to know you're that kind of guy. Don't worry, I'm not going in without a plan. Chie, I'm leaving you in charge of this. Huh? What's that? A rope? We'll go in with this tied to me. So I want you to hold on to this and wait here. This is a lifeline? Come on, wait a sec. Here, this is for you. <laughs> golf club. <laughs> that is a freaking huge golf club. Freaking huge golf club. And medicine. Nice. I thought it might be better than going in empty handed. All right, let's go. There's no use wasting any more time. Chie, whatever you do, don't let go of the rope. Okay, they just went just right in. <laughs> oh, that looks so odd. <laughs> of course. See? I knew this wasn't gonna work. Now what? <laughs> they tried to they try to pull a uh, freaking poltergeist. Is this Look, this is the same place as last time. So they are connected from place to place. Yeah. You guys, why'd you come back? I get it. You're the ones behind this. You're that thing from last time. Wait, what the hell did you just say? Lately, I can tell someone's been throwing people in here. It's making this world more and more messed up. This is the second time you guys came here, and I don't think anyone forced you in. That means you're the most suspicious. You guys must be the ones throwing the people in here. What the hell? Don't label us like that. What are you talking about throwing people in? If someone was thrown in here and they couldn't get out, they might die. Who would do such a... Wait a sec. All this talk about someone throwing people in here. Does he mean Senpai and the announcer? Did that someone throw those two in here? Hey, what do you think? That must be it. Yeah, I agree. Let's assume he's telling the truth. Could it be that someone's throwing people in here intending to kill them? If that's the case... What are you guys mumbling about? Why'd you come here anyways? It's a one-way door! You can't get out once you're in! Remember how I had to let you guys out? Yeah, whatever. We don't need your help this time. See? This time we have a life... Li what? 
Hey, you better let us out once we're done investigating here. <laughs> I'm the one who wants to investigate. I've lived here for a long time, but it's never been noisy like this till now. Do you have proof? Prove to me you're not throwing people in here. It doesn't work that way. See? So it is you guys. For the last time, it's not us. So we've got nothing to prove to you. Hey, you better answer our questions. This isn't like last time when we came by accident. We're dead serious. Listen up, because people have died in our world. Every time the fog appears, a dead body shows up with it. It has to be related to this place somehow. If you know something, tell us. A dead body? Whenever the fog appears? I know that if it's foggy on your side, the fog lifts here. It's really dangerous when the fog lifts. That's when the shadows get violent. Ah, I get it. Huh? If you get it, then explain it to us, damn it. If it's foggy on our side, it isn't in here. Shadows get violent? That's why I said to hurry back. It's dangerous when that happens. Okay, no more questions. I know you guys did it. You better stop right now. I told you and told you we're not the ones doing it. I've about had it with you. Why the hell won't you listen to what we're saying? Uh, I'm just saying you might be the culprits. Uh, I'm just making sure. What? Man, this bear is driving me nuts. <laughs> what is this place anyways? It looks like a TV studio. Is something being filmed here? Hey, hey, don't tell me. Is that weird show being filmed here? Weird show? Filmed? What does that mean? Uh, I'm asking if someone's been filming the people that get thrown in here. Eh? I don't get it. This world has always been like this. No one has ever done that filming thing here. Always been like this? What do you mean, run by... Run that by me again? <clears throat> Only me and shadows are here. I told you before. Look, we don't know what these shadow things are, or what you are either, for that matter. You keep telling us to prove our innocence, but you're the most suspicious thing here. Maybe you're the real culprit. And what's with that stupid costume? I'd say it's time you showed your face. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Okay. What the hell are you? It, it's empty inside. Me? The culprit? I wouldn't do such a thing. I just live here. I just want to live here peacefully. <sighs> okay. I'll believe that you guys aren't the culprits. But I want you to find the real guy who did all this. You have to stop him. Promise me. Or else... I'm not gonna let you guys out of here. You little... This can't keep going on. My home here will be a complete mess. And then... And then... I... <laughs> oh god, he's crying. He's freaking crying. What are you crying for all of a sudden? Jeez, this thing's really weirding me out. The mysterious bear is asking you to find the culprit behind this. Someone on the outside is throwing people into this world. If the culprit isn't you, he wants you to find the real culprit. The mysterious bear seems serious about this. <sighs> hey, what should we do? You remember the words of the mysterious me old man who called himself Igor. It seems you will encounter a misfortune at your destination, and a great mystery will be imposed upon you. Could this be the mystery that will be thrust upon you? What was that contract Igor spoke of? 
Could finding the culprit and solving the case be part of this promise? In any case, since you cannot leave the TV world on your own, there seems to be no other option. You're the only ones I can ask. Will you promise me? I promise. Thank you! Damn bear. Practically holding a gun to our heads. But it's true that we came here to figure things out. So far, we're completely in the dark. Looked for the culprit, huh? Bring it on. You got my word, too. Might as well introduce ourselves. I'm Yosuke Hanamura, and this is my buddy. You got a name? Teddy! Of course. <laughs> Figures. <laughs> but how are we supposed to find the culprit in the first place? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, but I know where the last person came in. The last person? You mean Saki-senpai? I mean the person who came in and disappeared last time. I don't know the name. Well, I'll take you there. You might find clues. Oh, one thing first. You two should put these on. Ah, oh, glasses. What are these glasses for? Oh, no fog. As you put on the glasses, your vision instantly becomes much clearer. Whoa! The difference is like night and day. With these on, it's like the fog doesn't exist. They'll help you walk through the fog. Well, I've been here for a long time, so you can rely on me. Ah, uh, but I can only show you where the place is. You guys will have to defend yourselves. What happened to relying on you? Th there better not be any monsters, you understand? And he's already said there are. We brought weapons, but I mean, they're more for show. We just got here. If it's so dangerous, why don't you do something instead of relying on us? Uh-uh. No way. I've got no muscles. Oh, oh, I'll give you guys moral support from a safe distance. <laughs> How's that sound? Can Teddy really not fight? I'm not gonna punch him. I'm gonna poke him. No! Oh my. Is this thing for real? <laughs> I poked him. I didn't. God damn it. Whatever. Uh, this is so lame. We swore to find the culprit, and this is all the backup we get? Oh, yeah. Can I ask you something? Who's this Saki senpai person? Someone you know? <sighs> that doesn't matter right now. Anyways, at least now we know senpai might have been thrown in here. Maybe we can find more information too. Let's get moving. Wh wait! Oh god. Come on, we did knock him over. I thought I poked him, not freaking shoved him. What is this place? It looks just like the shopping district. What's going on here? Some weird places have appeared here recently. Things are getting so tangled, I, I don't know what to do. Uh, by the way, why are you standing so far from us? You better not be planning to hightail it if something does come up. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> His face says otherwise. I mean, um, I can't stand too close, you know? I'd get in your way. <sighs> Man, they really went all out on this. But out of all the places in town, why'd they replicate this one? How should I know? This is reality for the one who's here. <sighs> As usual, nothing you say makes any sense. But if this is our shopping district, we're not far from Saki-senpai's... Ah, okay. Yep. I knew it! <clears throat> this is the liquor store that Senpai's parents run. Does this mean Senpai disappeared here? What could have happened? Wait a second! They're here! What? What? Shadows! I had a feeling they were going to attack. Where? Huh?
what is within. Stay calm and listen. Some shadows have weaknesses. If you can pinpoint that weakness and take advantage of it, the battle will be a lot easier. I can tell this one has a weakness too. Try stuff out and see what works. Oh, thanks. That gonna help. Uh, when you see an attack, the en <clears throat> when you s use an attack the enemy is weak against, it will be knocked down. Compared to the other attacks, attacking the enemy's weakness does more... Well, yeah. Uh, if you knock enemies down, you'll get one more attack. Use your weapons and skills to strike enemy weaknesses and get one more attack to get uh, the advantage in battle. However, if the enemies attack your weakness, they get an extra attack too. So always keep your enemy's weakness and your own in mind. Aha! I'll keep track of what attacks have what effects on enemies. You can check known information about the enemy with the analyze command or by pressing the analyze button. Hold on. Alright, now I'll do analyze. Don't give up! It's weak to electricity! Soda. Nice. You felt a surge of energy inside after the recent battle. You did it, Sensei! Your HP and SP have increased. You are now able to create personas up to level two. Okay. Has faced his other self. He has obtained the facade used to overcome life's hardship. The persona Izanagi. Whoa, what was that? Did I hear you say Persona? What was it? I mean, what did you do? Hey, you think I can do it too? Calm down, Yosuke. You're troubling Sensei. <laughs> okay. S sensei? Gosh almighty, you're amazing, Sensei. I am one impressed bear. I can't believe you were hiding such an amazing power. No wonder the shadows were scared of you. <gasps> Are you the one who's able to bring people into this world? <laughs> and that's what I thought. This is really something. Don't you think so, Yosuke? Dude, you call him Sensei and then don't show me any respect? <laughs> Sorry. Well, your support wasn't bad, though. I gotta give you some credit for that. Huh? Really? <laughs> All right. You two keep it up, and I think we'll be fine from here on out. Now let's get back to the investigation. Man, I wonder what could have happened to Senpai here. 
What? Voices begin to echo from somewhere. Ugh, I wish Janess would go under. It's all because of that store. What the? Oh, I heard that Konishi-san's daughter is working there. Oh my, how could she with her family's business suffering like it is? I heard their sales have gone downhill because of Juness. Stop it. That poor father. To have his own daughter working for the enemy. What a troublesome child. Hey, hey, Ted. You said that this place is reality for those that are here, right? So, does that mean this was Senpai's reality when she wandered in here? I only know about what's over here. Fine. Whatever's going on here, we'll find out ourselves. Not again. You begin to hear a man yelling. Saki, how many times do I have to tell you? Is this Senpai's dad? You know what the neighbors say about you, right? Aren't you ashamed of yourself? You're the eldest daughter of a family who's owned this store for generations. Is it the money? Or did you meet some guy there? Just tell me why you have to work there of all places. I can't believe this. She seemed like she had fun at work. She never said anything like this to me. You're telling me this was how Senpai really saw things? These photos. Hey, is this... It's the photo we took the other day with the other part-timers at Juness. Why is it cut up like this? The scrap of the photo shows Saki smiling. Yosuke is standing next to her. I never had the chance to say it. Is that Senpai's voice? I always wanted to tell Hanachan. Huh? Me? That he was a real pain in the ass. I was nice to him just because he was the store manager's son. That's all. But he takes it completely the wrong way and gets all enthusiastic. What a dip. Dip? I've never heard of that book. Okay. The pain in the ass? Who cares about Juness anyway? Because of that store, our business is ruined. My parents hate me. The neighbors talk behind my back. I wish everything would just disappear. It's a lie. This can't be. Senpai's not like that. It's so sad. I feel so sorry for myself. Boo-hoo! What the? Actually, I'm the one who thinks everything's a pain in the ass. <laughs> huh? Two Yosuke's? Who are you? I wouldn't think that. <laughs> yeah, right. How long are you going to keep deluding yourself? Screw the shopping district and Juness, too. You're sick of everything, especially living out in the sticks. Yeah. No lie there. Very weird. What are you saying? Th that's not true. I. You put on a good show of being carefree and happy-go-lucky because you're so terrified of being alone. The more, the merrier, right? You gotta be surrounded by people to block out the pain of isolation. All right, hold on. I want to try something here real quick. <clears throat> I'm still getting some dropped frames. I'm going to reset the stream here real quick. Hold on. This should only be down for like half a minute. Because I'm still losing frames for some dumb reason, and I don't want to lose frames, especially when something is happening in the damn game. So give me one second here. Hold on. <clears throat> 